So hey guys, welcome to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. My name's Daniel. I'm Jennifer. And this is Cherish the Journey, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> so we just, uh, we're here. Gonna show you some tips and tricks. And uh, take you along on our journey. Take it, yeah, take you along on our journey. And this, we're gonna be excited. We just wanna kind of show our journey, our adventures, our adventures. Yeah. Um, so we've been camping for just kind of weekend warriors and stuff for what, like eight years now. Yeah, probably. We've been camping for a while. Camping for a while. So we started out with a small two-person tent, yeah, which was a joke. <laughs> which, if you know anything about camping, when they say it's a two-person tent, it's, it's really, really a one-person. It's tent. really a one-person tent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we barely fit a queen-sized mattress <laughs> inside this two-person tent. Mm -hmm. It took up the whole floor space of the tent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it was. It was quite hilarious, like trying to, that was our first ever camping trip ever. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Yeah. We had the coolers and everything, and everything got water, most of the stuff got waterlogged. Because we did not know what we were doing. <laughs> nope. Um, so it was, that was fun, that was a fun adventure. Yeah. And then we upgraded to a little pop up. Tiny. Well, we had some we had some other tents before that. Well, we one we had one other tent before that. Yeah. That thing was like the Taj Mahal <laughs> to me anyway. Yeah, it was we, an eight-person tent, so we could fit everything in there. And yeah, two cots. We got the cots and everything, mm -hmm. and kind of had some friends that help us like along the way of the camping adventures. Giving so. us tips and tricks and things to do differently. So. Yeah. So we'll, we're gonna share some of those if that's what you were into. If you're doing tents backpacking or whatever we've never done backpacking but we know a little bit um, but this channel is all about helping the community helping out the camping other, other campers other campers whether, whether you're full-time mm -hmm. part-time exactly yeah just a weekend warrior like we are right now anyway at this point exactly um, we're yeah. just gonna help you out so so we love we love outdoors we live we we live for camping for camping mm -hmm. <laughs> We want to do it full time. We go out as much as we can. So yeah, we we just this is what we want to do, uh, and we the more information, the more knowledge you have, the better off you'll be. Hopefully, you don't make some of the mistakes that we've made, because we've made quite a few, and some of them pretty costly. Mm -hmm. So. Um, yeah, we want to uh, help you guys out. Mm -hmm. and, and if you're watching our channel and you are a current full-time RV lover and you've been doing this for a while, we would welcome your tips and tricks for us as well, too. Yeah. Um, so that way we kind of know um, what we're looking at. Because we've been doing a lot of research. We've been preparing and planning for this. We did a big purge. Yep. I know it sounds crazy that we've already done a purge, but the earlier you do it, the better, because it really sets you up for success. Um, if this is what you want to do, get, you have to get into that mindset. Yeah. You have to start preparing. So that's definitely what we've done. We still have quite a bit of purging to do, of course, but yeah. we've done a lot of it for the most part. And then um, just really getting ready. We've done research on a lot of different campers. Um, we've done research on trucks. And we're hoping by this time next year, mm -hmm. even if we're not living in it full time yet, that we can have our new rig. Yeah. Um, we are going to live, we're in Arizona, so we are going to live in an RV park somewhere in Mesa um, for about six months mm -hmm. before we hit the road. Yep. That way we can get settled in, we can get organized, we can really know kind of what we're looking at um, before we hit the road. And so we're going to be sharing videos with you guys of that, just our moving in process into our camper actual a video of the actual purchase of our camper yep. purchase of our new truck yes um, just us moving out of the current place we're in and kind of getting everything into boxes maybe in our camper I don't even know how many boxes would quite fit in there so we <laughs> might just be pulling our rig up if we can in front of the house we're currently in and just kind of shoving stuff in there maybe and not taking up so much space with boxes um, we yeah. do 
we love to hike too, um, mm -hmm. so you'll see some videos of our hiking travels and our hiking experiences. Um, I'm not sure that we'll do much of it right now because we're in Arizona and it's hitting summertime, it's, so it's going to yeah. get pretty hot. Um, if we do any hiking, we'll travel out of town, um, mm -hmm. Payson, up north, Flagstaff, things like that, and go do some hiking. Um, For sure. But as far as going full time, we're not rushing it, we're taking our time. Um, we are paying off debt and um, we would prefer to go out on the road completely out of debt um, as much as possible if not all the way. Um, we're going to be saving up to put big down payments on our new truck, to, new to us truck anyway, and yeah. new to us camper. That's another thing. We're not buying a brand new truck off of a lot. No. We're not buying a brand new like 2021 rig. Um, we're, we've been looking at private sellers, we've even been looking at dealerships that um, sell them used so we're just kind of looking at that I don't yeah. really still doing our really research feel, yeah we don't really feel the need to buy brand new so we're not going to no. do that um Cause... but as far as going out full-time um we'll, we'll take you along through the process of getting ready for that and the research that we do and um you yeah. know just things like that we I know it sounds premature but we we've already purchased our harvest host um, membership because that's something that we plan on doing quite a bit of while we're out on the road we um, wanted, if and... I can mooch dock and have some wine I'm all for it. So yeah. well, it's uh, not actually mooch docking; it's boondocking. It boondocking. Boon docking. It but actually yeah, boondocking boon on the property, and then being able to go and with walking within walking distance and have some wine. Um, so yeah. But I think we're going to start out in Arizona. We're just going to kind of stay close to home um, for the first little bit because we know that it's going to get lonely at some point, and we know that it's going to definitely be um, a job in and of itself. Yeah. So I think we kind of want to stay closer to home for. Maybe not for long, but just for a little bit. I think we'll start up north, mm -hmm. um, hit back some campgrounds that we've already been to, Karchner Caverns, Patagonia, um, Page Springs is definitely a really pretty one. So we're going to just kind of yeah. piggyback off some of those and then go visit some new places. Go to Sedona, yeah. go to Flagstaff. We've never, yep. Williams. we've never boondocked there or even been to a campground there. So yeah. we're going to do that. Go up to and the, then I think we'll go just up to kind the of, Grand Canyon probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go up to the Grand Canyon. We've for only sure. been. Um, I mean, I've, I've been here 20 years and I've only been there once, guys. Like, <laughs> and it's not. I mean, it's it's a 90 hour drive, but it's still like. Mm -hmm. I mean, we just. I, we'll have all the time. Yeah, I it's just. Not like it's I gonna just, matter. So. To know, know why we haven't done that like more. I don't know. Like it's because we're working for the man and we don't have time. <laughs> this is why we're doing what we're doing, so we don't have to work for the man. And we can really take our life on an adventure and just be able to see all the sights and yeah. really live our life to the fullest. Yeah. So um, so we'll okay. stay in Arizona for a little bit and then um, we may just wing it and play it by ear or we may set up, of course, if we're going to be camp campground, being in a campground, then we will need to plan that ahead of time, of course. That is one thing. If you decide to go full-time or even part-time it's good to plan your trips ahead of time if you're going to be in a campground because those fill up fast yeah um, yeah you would the, definitely have there's to mo most plan. campgrounds especially in arizona right now are booked to like fall well um, so well actually right now since it's getting warmer kind of like the the people that um come here like that Come here for the, the snowbirds. Sport, yeah, snowbirds, whatever, whoever. Mm -hmm. People that you come when it's nice weather. Nice weather people. Um, they always book out, and our state parks here in Arizona, uh, like Phoenix, proper, you know, proper, like the metropolitan area of um, nice weather, and it's always booked up state parks, a lot of parks, you know, even boondocking, just regular boondocking, it just fills up. It just fills up. Mm -hmm. Places fill up. Um, so So we boondock every either Labor Day or Memorial Day. And so what Daniel does is he hooks up our rig the Wednesday of the week before Memorial Day and heads out and finds a boondocking spot and of course we lock up our trailer he locks up the hitch part and everything so that nobody can take it and we we rope off just a small little area we don't rope off like a huge area because that's not okay in case somebody else wants to come in yeah. to the surrounding area that we're going to be in but we just rope off the yeah. entrance to our little spot yeah. um, and then we head up thursday and i'm thankful the that he does that because last year we went for labor day and when we got up there thursday night there were no spots even for boondocking so yeah um, just it, it, make sure you're planning ahead especially if you want to go boondock over a holiday weekend because yeah. those, those fill up fast because all the campgrounds are already filled up and right. so nobody can find those so then they're going to go find boondocking whether they're in a tent 
or a pop-up or a trailer, they're going to go look for that yeah. next. So yeah, just make sure you plan ahead of time. Yeah. One of the things, like she was saying, when you rope off the spot... Oh, uh, here comes Buddy. We... <laughs> of course. <laughs> Come on. You didn't want to be left out of the video, did you? Come on, He's sir. like, oh... Yeah. <sighs> This, so All right, come on. This is part of this. This is part of filming. This is what happens when you yep. try to you film. You just gotta go with it. <laughs> your dogs and your it, kids. You get. They can sense you're doing something. They don't want to be left out. Yeah. Okay, lay down, so, buddy. So, anyway, guys, we're, we're uh, so I was talking about roping off when you rope off a site. Absolutely, do not, do not, do not rope off. If it's a trail or a path that actually continues on through, yeah. do not rope those sections off for your part, for yourself, for your part, for your group. It doesn't matter. Um, if it's a trail, if it's an actual marked trail, it's illegal actually to do it. Park rangers will come through and they will, they could they, find they you. They could find you, yes. So if it's. And they could ask you to leave. Yeah. If it's actually you're off the trail and you're in an area where you're off the trail, it doesn't go through, you know that area doesn't, people can't drive through it, you can close that section off, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what we, so that's what she's talking about. We had a spot where it just back, you know, kind of went back a little ways and I knew it, that spot didn't go all the way through to another section so we wanted I didn't want anybody else to kind of park next to it. It was a very small it. spot so it, what, there wasn't really room yeah. for any other people that's why we roped it off but please don't go find like these giant big areas if you're a really small group and rope it off and not allow other people to come in and be able to camp near you. Yeah. Um, just yeah. be respectful and um, yeah and we'll have we'll, camping at a kissy and we'll do some videos about that and stuff too in the future. Yeah um, we'll so, talk about that here and mm -hmm. um but yeah, so, um, so yeah, that's pretty much kind of what you can expect to see from us. Mm -hmm. um, those kinds of tips and tricks that we just told you about. Yep. Um, Video and, of our process of getting our rig and moving into it and moving out of the place we're in and purging. We'll be yep. um, recording all of that and allowing you guys to be a part of that too because we want you guys to be a part of our whole entire journey. So yeah, um, if you have questions. Comments, comments, tips, tricks, tip. please leave them in the comments below. We'd yeah. love to hear from you. And also, um, if you like Definitely. today's video, please subscribe. Hit that bell button so that way you can be notified as soon as we drop a new video onto our YouTube. Um, we really hope that you enjoy coming on our journey with us. And yeah. remember to always cherish the journey that you're on and cherish the moment that you're in. Um, because that's what life is about. It's about making memories, cherishing the moments, and not worrying about the little things. So Exactly. We hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.